I think we need to talk. We are moving again. This time, it will take us to New York. So I was born and raised in Switzerland and I lived there my entire life. I met my husband, we fell in love and we did long distance, but that wasn't it. So I decided to move to Portugal and just start all over in my home country, which was amazing and beautiful. And then a lot of things happened in 2020, we all know about that. And we decided to move to California as soon as we can and we did it and now we're here for an entire year and we're so grateful that we did this year here in California but now it's just something about New York that is calling us I think obviously our life is different now we were in New York in 2019 for like 10 days or so for a tattoo convention and like get to know New York and we loved it we were like in the middle of the city and experiencing life in New York without having our kids with us especially now having like a two-year-old but we think like New York can actually make our dreams come true the way California didn't or it can't do in the future so what do you think how do does my little friend look like? I swear this was the hugest pain in the butt to do, but I'm actually pretty proud of it. I mean, it's the first big piece I actually did on this practice skin, doing like 3RL shading. So I'm pretty stoked. These are the projects I will be doing next. I'll probably start with the little cute balloon dog. Quick disclaimer because I feel like I need to mention this while I was editing this video. I would never change the station from a human client without having gloves on or taking the needed safety precautions. But the station you just saw is only for my fake skin sessions. So there's no contamination, no human blood or something else in it that can actually be harmful. So that's why I'm touching everything with my hands. But obviously I wouldn't be doing that if it was from a human client. Just to make sure you guys get it right because you have to be super, super, super careful when it comes to changing stations and cleaning up the mess after a tattoo session with the human client. Am I looking like a real vlogger now driving around with an electric skateboard? And it's kind of starting to rain, which sucks. It's two days later, we went outside for a walk and I recorded everything and talked to you guys, but I was completely out of focus. You all had to learn a couple of things, which I know now. You know when you feel like you have a place that makes you grow, glow and inspire to be better? Who has a place like that? Let me know in the comments down below which one it is for you and why. And hey, since you're there, why not hit the like button and subscribe to support my journey and stick around with me. But back to New York. I feel like the city will be this place for us. I can't explain why, I just feel it kind of. I made a vision board with my major goals for 2023 and one of these goals is going full time on YouTube. I won't quit tattooing because of it and we still want to grow and expand our tattoo business, but YouTube is my personal goal. I love creating videos and helping my community in certain ways through it and making you guys part of my life and my journey. But every time I said I will go in with YouTube, I got stuck in the filming or editing process and then I just gave up. I'm actually currently testing out our Christmas presents, which is the one Fabio gave me, the new lens, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeters. And look at this, I just love this lens, especially for vlogging, which I will be doing from now on a lot more. And also this little thing here, it's 
the Backfire G2 electric skateboard. I got it for Fabio and jokes on me, I'm using it right now because it's kind of fun. So for 2023, I want to focus on filming and editing and uploading every single week to YouTube. I want to take you guys along with our move to New York, the process of it, living in New York. But I also want to bring you along with me going back to tattooing, learning again everything about tattooing, how an apprenticeship works. I'm not exactly in the studio, I'm learning from the best of the best, my husband, I'm very lucky to have have him teach me but I want to show you guys every aspect every part of learning the tattoo process with that I also want to show you guys how we are growing our business how I work from home as a mom with two kids doing all of that and of course, because it's my nature, some fitness content here and there. I will be focusing on sharing things that actually bring you guys value, things that not everybody's doing nowadays, which was the reason why I decided to quit the gym only content and having fun with you guys along everything. So let's get into five reasons which made us decide to move to New York. One of them is the business opportunities we can get in New York and Manhattan itself. The second reason is basically nature and culture related things. We are in Ontario, California, so it's very dry up here. You don't have a lot of nature, a lot of places where you actually have like those big trees and forests where you can walk through for an hour-ish or so with the kids without having to actually drive to the mountains, which takes us at least one and a half hours. And obviously we aren't comparing this to Manhattan because that's not the place we are moving to. We are more so comparing it to the places where we actually want to live in, in the state of New York. The third reason for our move has to do with the weather. California has beautiful weather and we love it and it's very similar to our weather in the south of Portugal, but it gets so hot in summer. And two of those months were horrible. We couldn't handle the heat, the kids couldn't play outside because it was too hot. There was no humidity, the winds were hot. So you didn't have a chance to kind of refresh yourself, even if you sit in the shade. Having all of the seasons again, especially me growing up in Switzerland and having this for almost my entire life, it's nice to kind of have it back. We didn't even have it in Portugal. So we are actually really excited to experience this, especially our kids who don't remember how it is to actually feel the differences throughout the year. The next point, which is number four, is something that most people can't relate to, but for us, it really makes a difference. Being in California gives us a huge time difference to our family and friends which are in Portugal and in Switzerland. So we are nine hours behind from Switzerland and eight hours behind from Portugal, which makes it really hard for us to talk to our family and friends because once we are up in the morning, it's late afternoon over there. So it's very hard to being on FaceTime for a longer time and just keeping up the conversations. So being in New York shortens the time difference of three hours. It doesn't sound like much, but it does make a huge difference and also it makes it easier for us to travel to Portugal back and forth or friends and family visiting us because the flight is even shorter we are talking about five hours shorter. And then the last reason, which is for us kind of a big deal because we are not used to it or weren't used to it in Switzerland and Portugal, is the traffic. Man, I think everybody knows LA traffic is horrible. And we don't live in LA, we live like an hour away from LA without traffic. That's the thing. Every time we went to LA, Santa Monica, the Universal Studios, Disneyland, all of those trips took us at least one and a half hours to go and coming back, it took us two, two and a half hours because of traffic. So for us with the kids, it's super hard to actually do things and explore things around LA with those huge traffic hours. Because if you have small kids, two and a half hours make a big difference 
in a daily schedule. I know some people can handle it easier. For some kids, it's not a big deal. For our kids who aren't used to sitting such a huge amount of time in the car, it, it's not that fun. And we aren't those type of parents who like to give the phone or the iPad to our kids. It's just not for us, which is why at certain point they can't entertain themselves anymore with the toys they have and they just get bored. And we kind of understand that. So in New York, we will have the opportunity to drive with the car to a train station, which is the closest to our home there, and then take the train to Manhattan. And from there, we would take the subway wherever we want to go. And honestly, if you want to do things it's mostly in Manhattan like visiting museums going to the Central Park for shopping reasons whatsoever and I know our kids will love it so those are the main reasons which made us decide to give New York a chance and see what we like the best or if in the future we would try something else wrapping up this episode by saying thank you so much for being here and supporting my journey have an amazing New Year's and I'll see you in the next one Bye guys!